Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Icarus. We're going to jump straight into mission number two. This is Livewire, the terrain scan. Welcome back. Lagos unit runs Icarus for the UDA, but most of this planet's still a blank on the map. The unit wants new drop zones, which means getting terrain scans, and they'll pay for the privilege. Just set up a radar at three locations and come back alive. You up for it? There we go. So we have to set up a radar at three different locations. It says prepare for wildlife attacks. Uh, we're going to go for normal. We have seven days to complete this and we're going to get 100 Ren as a result. So we're going to claim the prospect. No loadout. Confirm. Yes. Let's jump straight into this. So when we land, like I said in the previous video, we're going to... We're going to grab ourselves uh, initially two knives, which is important. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves a our pickaxe and a, a, a stone axe, a bow and arrow. Um, we're also going to unlock a bandage in case we get attacked and we need to heal ourselves because uh, that can be important. We're going to do a little bit of hunting to get some food so we can get that buff. And then we're going to head over to the three locations uh, that we need to go to. That's how we're going to do this first mission. So while we're landing, we just press up. Uh, the tech tree. Uh, we're going to unlock blueprint, uh, which is the basic bandage. We're going to unlock this. And uh, that's all we need at the moment. But we're also going to go for some cloth chest armor. And we're going to do one more point, which we're going to put in the cloth leg armor. Okay? Uh, we're going to save our next point. We don't really need it at the moment, but we're going to keep hold of it for now. Icarus ain't always going to be so empty. In fact, no. We won't, we'll get a bit more armor. Exotics, there we go. And the Lagos units under pressure to scale operations up. Which means they need terrain data, and a heap of it, fast. So grab the radar from the supply crate. The unit wants scans from three locations on your map. You'll be heading into uncharted territory, but that's exactly why we need the data. Think you can handle it? Well. Either way, it's too late now. Good luck. Brilliant. So if you land somewhere and there is not much rock, and that does sometimes happen where you don't find any rocks on the floor, then the first thing you might want to craft is going to be a stone pickaxe. So if you're limited in your supply of rocks, look around. Uh, you will find them. They will be here. But once you've got enough, make a stone pickaxe before anything else. Uh, the reason for that is there's always going to be uh, a big rock nearby. And you can come and hit this to get some additional rocks. So we're just going to do this right now. Because the first thing we want to do is craft our stone knives. So we're going to make our two stone knives. There could always be wolves. Uh, and you never know where you land. So you always have to be prepared as soon as you possibly can. Now we've done that, we're going to make ourselves our stone axe. Uh, we're also going to make ourselves our wood bow. Uh, we'll make ourselves our wood rag torch, but we're going to need some more sticks for that. So we can just keep crafting, keep gathering, uh, picking stuff up. And we're just making the basics that we need at the moment just to get us through. And we're going to grab a lot of this fiber because we're going to need this. And all of this is actually giving us the experience we need to level up again. Uh, we're going to craft a, a fire pit. And all of this within the first kind of two to three minutes of landing. Perfect. So we're going to craft ourselves a fire pit. We'll keep going, get a few more arrows. All right. So now we can make uh, a few arrows. We'll make seven of those. A couple of... Uh, rock or stone spare in case we need to repair our items perfect all right we're good to go let's go back to the ship before we go anywhere else because we've got to pick up some items that we're going to need which is these scanners and they'll be in our ship i'm just going to get a few more fibers okay so now we should also be able to craft our chest armor and our leg armor and hopefully our head armor as well. We might need a little bit more just to do the head armor. 
Perfect. All right, we're good to go. So we've got our knives, got our bow and arrow, we've got our tools. Uh, we can make a few more of those. We'll keep a few stone, as I said. We'll keep a few stone, uh, but we'll craft those. Come back here, and we're going to grab this. So we're going to take all, uh, just put this into that spot there, that, that spot with a G icon. All right, that's it. So now, whilst I'm here, I'll grab a bit of oxide, because I know I'm going to need that for oxygen. And I saw a little bit more here. And that is what we need to do pretty much at the start of every mission uh, when we first land. Until we can start bringing items from our workshop uh, and our loadout, we need to do this. This is the way we're going to start every single time. Uh, and this is the, the recommended loadout any time you land. There's two knives, bow and arrow, and an axe and a pickaxe. Uh, and also a campfire, of course. All right, so our oxygen is, uh, sorry, our stamina is running out. That's cool. We're going to consume our stack, come to our inventory, drag that across. We can eat one of these berries. This is going to give us a plus 50 maximum stamina. And uh, yeah, we can put our fireplace down there and look, off we go. We've now got everything we need. Go to the map and our first location is going to be up here. So we're going to follow this. Oh, he saw us, so he's going to run off. Now we're going to run up here. We've got our we've got our knife, so we're okay. And we're simply going to run up here, and we're going to see if we can find a wolf. If we can, that will be great. If not, it's okay. If we can't find a wolf, don't worry. Um, but we do want to get some food. It's quite important that we get some food on the go because that is going to help us in terms of giving us additional health, um, but also health regeneration. So if we do get into a fight or get attacked. Uh, it's going to help us to survive. If we can run away, we'll be able to heal up over time. Now, you do have base regeneration, but it's very, very slow at the start, and you have to level it up with skills. And we don't have those skills at the moment, so... Let's just keep going. Heading towards that first point that we need. I can hear a wolf over here. So I'm actually going to run towards that wolf. See if I can find him. Nope, but there is some watermelons on the floor. We'll grab those. They're good for food and for water. Oh. There we go. Now, we could leave this here, and it, it should attract any wolves that are in the area, but uh, we don't want to mess about and waste time, so we're just going to go ahead and skin it. And, uh, yep, we've got some items there, so that's all good. We're also going to grab the bones, because we want these. And we still have a talent point uh, that we can use. So we'll uh, go ahead and use those while we're here as well. So our talent points. Well, what do we want to do first? There's a few things we're going to do. Uh, hunting is one of them. So we could look at that, which will give us uh, maximum stamina if we want it. Uh, combat is another one, so we can look at what we can do here. Uh, lots of stuff, but one thing I want to do is I want to get this, which allows us to see our animal health bars. And for that, I'm going to need this, which is going to give us 25% more yield from butchering animals, which is a good one to have. And uh, we also want to get this, which is a 5% movement speed while carrying an animal. And we want to put a point in here, which is 10 maximum stamina. And we need to unlock this one. It's going to take a little bit more. So we've gone for two points in this. The next one will allow us to unlock this, which will allow us to see the health bars. The other thing we can do is the talent pool. So we go to solo points. And we can either do base stamina, base speed, health, or we can do an extra bit of damage. Well, at the moment, I'm actually going to go for the damage. So that I can do a little bit more damage when I'm fighting. I think that's important. All right. So now we can keep moving. We've got most of what we need at the moment. We've got our uh, additional stamina. Uh, from the berries, uh, we've got our armor that we're wearing, even though it's basic armor. Uh, so we're going to go ahead now and put some food down. And we're going to cook this food just to give us that buff from the food. And we can eat a watermelon, we can eat some berries. Uh, we don't really need any yeast so we can throw that away. We don't really need 
anything else that's here at the moment. We'll keep hold of the seeds because if we get a few more wild berries, we can actually make a berry bar. So we can actually have a look around. Let's see if there's any more. This is the zone. It's around here somewhere. Yep, we're in the right area. We're looking for a couple of these bushes. You'll know the bushes because they're red like this. These are the berry bushes. They're red like this. So grab that. So grab a few of these pumpkins. Now I can make one of these berry and seed bars. I can also eat the pumpkin. I can eat the berry and seed bar. And if I look now, you can see look, I've got all of these, all of these like uh, modifiers. So let's go back to the fire. There's a rabbit here as well. Come here. There he is. Um, there he is. Now, rabbits don't really have a lot of stuff on them, so, you know, you might get a little bit. I was very lucky. I got some soft meat that time. But what I'm really after is the XP, and also I want the bones. So I don't get many, but what I get, I'll take. All right, let's go back to wherever our fire was. Um, I think it's up here. Yep, there's our fire. All right, and we're going to put the wood on the fire. Now, we don't actually have any wood, so we'll just put sticks on for now, but that's fine. Uh, we can always just chop this tree down to get ourselves some wood. There we go, grab a little bit of wood there. And we can put that on the fire instead, so. Once this is cooked, I will put this on as well. So this piece is almost finished. Once this is done, we'll just move it to the end there. There we go. And we're going to eat this piece. Good. Now we need to come over to here. And this shows us where we need to put our first radar. So we're going to press the G key. It's going to snap into location. So we just need to hover over here and press left click. And as soon as we activate this. Looks like the unit's ready. It's going to cause some problems. The problem this is going to cause is that any um, anything that you use technology-wise uh, attracts it attracts wildlife, and so it says there we're going to wait on the left-hand side. We're at 16%. We need to wait for 100%. But it says prepare for wildlife attacks. So we know that there's a wildlife attack that's going to be coming soon, and we do need to prepare for it. And we're not really. We're not really ready at the moment. We need to level up. Now this one, I think the developers did this on purpose. I think they're having a laugh. Because they want to show you how brutal Icarus can be. And that means that coming up this way in just a moment, we're going to see a bear cub. And, yeah. The bear cubs are quite easy to kill. But what's not easy to kill is Mama Bear. Oh. That's fine. That's just a... a, a then. They're not going to bother us. What's this coming this way? It's not a problem, I don't think. Have to wait for it. We're at 60% already, so we're nearly there. Huh. Here we go. Here comes the bear cub. So. We have to kill the bear cub. Here's another one. And they're going to attack us. Now we're going to have to repair this. But any moment now, there it comes. Here's the bear. So you have to bear in mind. There we go. We were actually able to kill the bear. Oh, and there's another baby bear there as well. Alright. So, there we go. We're at 100%. But the bear, you just have to stab it in the head, try and avoid it. The best thing to do is when a bear attacks you, run past the bear. It will swipe and turn around. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, and bears can be quite hard to kill. But they do a lot of damage, and if they do hit you, they're going to hurt you. You can see I lost half my health there. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to skin these bear cubs. Now a low-level bear is not too hard to kill. As you see, we can do it like this, but 
yeah, I wouldn't bother with a bow and arrow. It's very difficult. I wouldn't bother with anything else. Just keep your knives. Uh, as you can see, look, I just broke one now. So I'm going to repair these. And then just skin these animals. And we're going to cook all this meat. Now, we should also level up. The problem we've got right now is we can't put the fire down because it's raining. Which means put the it will take the fire out. So just bear that in mind. Um, if you're going to have a fire going, it needs to be under shelter if there's a storm. Right, now we're not going to take all of these stones because they're going to take forever. And all the bear cubs have gone now anyway. Oh. Oh. Okay. Seems to be another bear cub. I don't know where he come from, but we'll just get rid of him quickly. We should probably get out of this area, to be honest. So let's pick this up. We're going to hold X to get rid of it. Alright, and then off we go. So let's move out. We're going to head down to our second location, which is up here. Which means we need to go this way. Uh, which means we need to go down here. So we're just going to run down here. Now we need to heal. Now we do have our food modifier, which is going to help us. Um, before we go though, let's grab our grab our fire pit. Which we left just here. We'll pick that up as well. Alright, so now we've got our fire, taking that with us. Uh, we're healing up slowly, uh, and the storm's actually going to hurt us as well, so we're not going to heal very well in the storm. There's two ways that you can get undercover. One, we could build a base, that is an option. But if you want to know a quick and easy way to protect yourself in a storm, just find a big stone like this, and start digging away at the bottom of it. So just find a stone, and just start digging into the stone. And what will happen is you'll get deep enough into this. And look, there you go, the storm exposure. Can you see the storm exposure is no going down? Because we got inside here, we're actually inside this. Now look, the storm exposure, we're safe from the storm. We can also, if we wanted to, get outside of here and put down our... Inside, we could put down, if we make it big enough, our fire pit. And then we can actually cook on inside of rock. So rocks are a very easy and simple way, early game, to be able to protect yourself from those storms when they first start. Uh, if you need to be able to cook something, we can put this in here. Now, I don't know if it's going to go in there. No, it needs to be a little bit bigger still, so. But yeah, you can make this big enough. And then you will be able to put this inside. It will fit. There you go. Like that. Alright, so even though it's still raining, I can put this in here and I can cook. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get myself some food, some more berries, some more watermelon, another pumpkin. Great. And I can eat this food. So I've got all my modifiers going. They're all there. I'm also getting uh, some more 50% health regeneration simply by being in front of the fire. So that helps you as well. You can regenerate by using a fire. Uh, I've got enough oxygen, although it is starting to run out. So I will get a little bit more just while I'm here. Because there is a rock right next to me. I don't need too much. And you can make this process a lot more efficient later on. Uh, but for now, we'll put that in there. We'll come to here. And we're going to grab this. And I'm going to grab this food. And I'm going to eat this food. There we go. All I need. So now I'm healing. I'll leave that food cooking there for now. I'm going to go and grab some water while I'm here. Alright. And off we go. Now I can actually do more blueprints because I've leveled up. So if I go to my tech tree, the next thing I want to unlock is the bone knife. But for that I need to be level 5. So whilst I'm waiting for that, I'm going to do the last two parts of my armor. Which is my arm and my feet. And I should have enough that I can craft these. So there's my arm. There's my feet. And that will automatically put it here. So if you look at my inventory, I'm now... I've got my level 1 armor. Alright, and we're level 4. So we've equipped a full set of armor. We're now armored and dangerous. We've got an, uh, one, of, one of those uh, awards for being able to... Or a badge for being able to complete that. There's a wolf here, so we'll kill the wolf. Alright, great. I'm glad that happened because now I can show you a debuff. So, 
That wolf hurt us. And as a result of being hurt, we now have a bleed. This bleed is giving us minus 80% health regeneration. Now, if we don't heal ourselves, that, that wound can go gangrene uh, and can become infected and can cause even more problems. So we're going to craft a basic bandage. And because this has one slash, this is a basic bandage. If it had two slashes, you would need the uh, salt or bandage. And, and, uh, and you won't normally need that unless you get hit, attacked by a bear. A bear can cause a deep wound. Uh, whereas the the wolf is only normally going to cause a, uh, a single wound. So we're going to go ahead and craft another bandage. So we've got one. It's just fiber. So it's easy to do. And we're going to run across to our second point that we need access to, which is over here. So we check on the map. See, we're running in this direction. We need to come up here. So I like to open up the map, put a, a point, which is a straight line. And I like to head towards that. And I look at the compass at the top. And I can see when I get to it. And once I get there, I like to open up the map and then set my next point. It's a really easy way for you to be able to navigate. Otherwise, you'll end up struggling because you'll get to points where you can't pass. For example, here, if I went straight, I'm not going to get over these this rocky surface here. I'm going to struggle. So I need to actually go around this. As you can see by the map here, I'm going to go around here through this little neck. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, the first uh, scan location was bears. I, I think there's a, the developers are playing a joke with you. Oh, that sounded like a wolf. It is. That's good. Right, the wolf's there. I don't mind fighting wolves. Wolves are easy to kill. So we'll get points for uh, killing the wolf, and we'll also get points for skinning the wolf. So we'll do both. We want that experience. We'll repair our tool, and off we go. So very easy killing wolves. Okay, so continuing on, the first uh, was bears, and as I mentioned, I think the developers were having a laugh because they give you like a grizzly bear to start with, which nine times out of ten is going to kill you, especially if you're new to the game, you're probably going to die. If you survive, congratulations, uh, you've now killed a bear. There's not really anything on this map at the moment harder than a bear. Uh, that's a rabbit. So initial animals are rabbits, deer. Uh, you will also find bears, wolves, as you know, uh, boars, uh, and then later there'll be mowers, which are big birds. Buffalo, uh, jaguars, and then, uh, yeah, you'll see different different types of animals as a result, but that's it most of the, most of the time. That's what you're going to encounter at the start. So we're going to keep picking up items as we move through here. Um, the reason we're going to do that is because it's going to give us that XP that we need to get to level 5. And once we get to level 5... Oh, I feel really bad. I've got no stamina. So I'm going to let my stamina just recover for a minute. Alright, we'll check the map. We can see where we are. We're heading over here. So we're going to double click as well. Head over to this. There's another wolf, so we'll go and kill the wolf. Level 14 wolf. Actually, the higher the level, the more experience, but also the harder to kill. This one's quite easy at the moment, though. All right. Again, we don't need to worry about taking too much. We can't take it with us after the mission, so... The, the kind of rule of thumb is you want to do just enough to be able to get through the mission. And... As you progress and the missions get harder, you're going to have to do more. Some missions, you're going to need better tools. So you're going to need to get iron ore, smelt that down into iron ingots. Then you're going to need to use that to be able to craft um, iron pickaxes. Um, you're going to need to make bigger and better tools and uh, workstation to be able to get through the missions. Um, but they kind of they guide you into it slowly, which is nice. So... Uh, this is just a nice relaxing mission, nice easy enemies to kill. A couple of a uh, couple of fully repaired stone knives is all you need at this stage. Uh, they're not going to make it too hard for you. All right, and we're almost there. You can actually see that there's a deer. And if we're lucky, nope. No, 
we didn't get him, so that's okay. I didn't get a headshot. If you don't get a headshot, you're going to really struggle. So we don't really want to fall down there. That's a long way down. So you can see where we are here on this uh, cliff edge. But you want to run around here this way. So we're going to do this. Now, if you do fall, you're going to end up either getting a sprain or you're going to end up with a fracture or a break. That's going to impact your ability to move, run, heal and other things. So, yeah, do be careful, especially if you're coming down. You can come down slowly. And if you are careful, you won't hurt yourself too much. All right. So now we can see this lake. We're going to go around it. Another oh, rabbit there is going to run straight to us. Perfect. Just want the XP, so I feel kind of bad for doing it, but... Oh. <laughs> they do jump as well. Wow, okay. He done well to get away from me there. It is what it is. So, this is the thing with deers. If you don't get the headshot, if you don't creep up on them and get the headshot, it's very hard to kill them. Especially in the early game. You can work on your skill points to improve that. Um, you can also work on better arrows and things. But right now, yeah, I don't, I don't worry too much about them. Alright, so let's just check on where we are. Almost there, as you can see. We just need to head up this hill. And we've got three knives now as well. Because we know we're going to be dealing with these hordes. Of, uh, of wildlife, so we want to make sure we're prepared. The first one was kind of the hardest one, I think, with the bear cubs. And so everything else should be relatively easy in comparison. I will just head up here. And you'll do a lot of missions around here. You'll come and do different missions. You'll, you'll get familiar with this space. We're going to spend quite a bit of time in this area doing these missions. Just get this wolf. I'm not going to bother skinning him. I don't want to go over there, but again, just wanted that XP. Okay, so looking at where we're going now, uh, this way. And we can see our buffs are just about to run out, so we can go to our inventory. We can eat another melon, eat some more berries, and we do need to cook the food. We don't have any cooked food left, but our food still has 300 seconds on it. So, not a problem to to keep that for now. Okay, here we are. We can just see it up there on the right. That's where we're heading in this direction. And this one, quite simple. What's going to happen is the animals are going to run up here and try and attack this. And we've got to defend well. it. Yep, same as before. Looks like the unit's ready. So that's it. Now we're going to do is stand here. And again, we are going to get into a fight, but we've got full health. We've got our modifiers. We're in a good position. And we've got enough knives to be able to defend ourselves. We've got bone arrows if we need them. And we could probably craft a few more. craft a few more arrows just so we've got some spare and we're just going to watch out here they comes the first one and we leveled up nice so I'm not going to do it now I'll wait until after this to show you but what we want to do is we want to unlock the bone knife so uh, if I've got a few seconds, I'll go to the tech tree, and we're going to unlock the bone knife, which is going to be right here. Bone knife. All right, now we can go into our crafting menu, and we need some wood. If we had some wood... Oh, oh he stopped. Now, this is why I don't bother with them. All right, so we actually need some wood here, so we're going to chop down this tree. Radar needs supervision. Yep. Get closer. We need to go back to the radar. Let's go back to this. All right, we have to be near it. Now we've got some wood. We can craft two bone knives. And bone knives are significantly better 
than normal knives. So we're going to destroy this knife. Here comes a wolf. Alright. And we're going to craft these bone knives. So there we go. Here comes another one. Alright, now we've got a bone knife. Oh, and there we go. So, scan location 2 complete. We can pick this up. Now, normally, there's another one that we have to fight. Here he comes. Here comes the boss. This is the Alpha Wolf. So, we're going to go ahead and craft ourselves another one of these. Here comes the Alpha Wolf. There we go. With a bone knife, very, very easy to kill. Alright. So we've got a couple more bone knives, which means we can now destroy these normal knives. We need to use our... Because we've got a wound, we need to get rid of the wound. So we'll heal that. We've got our three bone knives. We can now get rid of our stone knives. We don't need them anymore. We can get rid of this meat. We don't need this. We can get rid of these seeds. We don't need these. Just make a bit of space. Seeds right now are worthless. So we can consume this stuff. Just we've got some food here. I'll move the food up here as well. There we go. And all the rest of it can just kind of stay there. It's all just other stuff. Perfect. And these I can actually stack on top of each other. So I can save some space here. Uh, just by stacking up these fibers and these other items. And the charcoal we don't need. Awesome. So we're now in a really good place. We can, uh, if we want to, the alpha wolf, we can... We Got this savage hunter. Uh, we're going to get an, a black wolf tooth as a result. So, can't do anything with it, but we can get that. Uh, you can see lots of items. We can also skin these. It will give us additional XP for doing so. So, you know, I recommend it, even though we don't need the stuff. If you wanted to build a base, you've now got enough to build a base, uh, a bedroll. Um, but yeah, we don't need to do it. We're doing it just for the XP at the moment. Alright. Perfect. Let's head back. So, it kind of feels like it's uh, just an animal shooter, really. <laughs> all you're doing is shooting animals for XP. Alright, so we're going to head back now. Uh, we're going to head back, first of all, we're going to head back this way, here. We're going to look out for a blue... Uh, rock if we see one. There's one over here. We need some oxygen. We'll grab this. So we're getting a little bit dark, so we'll uh, we'll keep our rag torch going. That's going to help us to see. Right, go to our inventory. Put that in there. Perfect. All right. I know, uh, this is something we can't really use at the moment, but this is an enzyme geyser. You can see it blows out water. You can put something on this later to click uh, exotics, but we're not we're not at that place yet, so... For now, we're just going to head back. Head back this way. Now, at night time, it's not really too bad. Most of the animals will sleep, so you w will see less animals. But overall... There's not really much we need to do except for just run. Um, you could sometimes get bears. So you want to be careful you don't run into a bear. That would be unfortunate. Again, always make sure you've got some stamina. And ideally a torch. Because the other thing you need to worry about. Uh, and it's sometimes good to look at the map. Is that you don't want to jump off of a cliff. Or fall off of a cliff. And so, yeah. Making sure you're aware of your terrain as you're running. We're going to run down here. Now, we don't need any water, but we will just top up because it's just good practice to do that. Alright. And we're going to head up here. We'll follow the water around. I'm not even going to bother with a deer at the moment. I mean, I feel, I feel bad for Bambi, but it is what it is. Oh. 
Oh. That was a good shot, but yeah, again. It's just good XP, so yeah, it is what it is. Quite a lot of deer right here. We're not going to focus on them, though. We're going to head over this way, up to here, because now we want to be going over here. So we've got quite a long run. One of the things you'll notice in this game, especially in the missions at the start, is you spend a lot of time running around. It is what it is. There's not really much you can do about it. You could tame an animal later, and that animal could help you to run around. Or, what I recommend, is open up your talent tree, go to your solo talent, and you want to be able to do this, which is going to give you additional movement speed. Additional movement speed. Uh, if you go to your talent tree as well, you could do the same thing here. So this is while crouching. Don't really want this one. Um, but there is, I think it's in adventure here, increased base movement speed. So we're going to go for... We're going to stay on survival for now. We're going to do this, which is... Uh, this is the one we want here. See animal health bar. So we're going to do this. So now we can see the animal's health. Then I'm going to go to adventure, and I'm going to go for the plus five movement speed. Okay, so now I've got faster movement speed. You're going to run a lot. And so being able to increase your movement speed, it makes a big difference. It's the first items that we're going to unlock in the workshop are going to be movement speed. Our skills are going to give us movement speed. And we're going to pretty much double our movement speed, which is going to make us a lot quicker. And as you're running around so much, it's going to help early on. Again, there's no there's no right or wrong way to, to deal with this. When you're skinning, you've got to do whatever works for your game style. And this is just the way I like to play it. I like to be able to move around fast. And then I like to work on my kind of gathering skills so I can gather more. Um, let's go to my inventory quickly. going to consume all of this. And yeah, we've run out of oxygen. So while I'm here... Grab a little bit more of this. Now, there's a lot of this. You're not going to run out of it, so you'll always be able to find it. There we go. I'm going to keep running. Now I can see these health bars of the animals. These yellow health bars. Uh, this can be good if you're fighting a bear. Maybe you're running low on health and you need to know whether to kind of heal up and disengage or whether you can kill it. It's not always recommended to go, oh, we're in a cave right now. Huh. It's like we just run into a cave. Didn't mean to do that. Let's get out. Yes, little cave there. All right, so now we're going to head down this way. So pretty much a straight run down to here. Baby deers. Oh, and a big deer. Okay, almost at level 6 as well now. So we're going to continue to collect resources. And I hope that it's going to help us to level up by the time we get to where we're going. The only thing we're going to stop to fight if we need to is going to be wolves. I'm not going to bother attacking deer. You can if you want to. I just want to get through this mission. So I'm kind of just focusing on what I need to do at this stage. There's going to be plenty of missions for hunting and things later. Trust me, you're going to, you're going to be sick of it by the end. So don't feel like you have to hunt at the moment just to level up or do anything. You don't. Uh, you can just go through these missions. All right, so now we're going to head over to this way here. So I'll just set a new marker, and we'll keep running. I like to run until my stamina runs low, and then I check the map. That way my stamina heals uh, while I'm checking the map, and it kind of feels like I'm more efficient. So I'll kind of run. I will never let my stamina get all the way out. I'll, I'll stop, let it recover a bit. And I'll run again. Alright, so at this stage we're okay. 
and then I'll, I'll check where we are. All right, so we want to go up to the right a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to let my stamina recover, and I'm going to check where I am. All right, so I want to come just to the right of here and down here. So we'll set a new marker. And off we go. As you can see, lots of running. Now you could set up a base. You could put your bed in your base and you can sleep at night. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It would then be morning and then you could continue. So you do have that option. Uh, but I don't, I don't feel like the need to do that. I'm just going to keep running. I'll run through the night. And we'll, we'll get there and finish off the mission. Now, there is no penalty uh, for sleep deprivation. So it doesn't matter. If you, you don't ever have to sleep in this game. You can stay awake for weeks if you want to. Uh, you don't need to worry about sleeping. Alright, so we're here. We're going to head over to this kind of area here now. Now keep running. You can hear the uh, the walls in the background there. Lots of deer running around. Just making sure more than anything we do not run off the edge of a cliff, which we should be okay from where we are. We've still got four blueprints that we can use. Uh, we, we don't really need them at the moment. There's nothing at all wrong with holding on to points. Don't feel like you have to spend them. Um, you can you can save them. And in fact, I recommend it's always good to keep hold of a point or two just to keep them in case of an emergency. For example, if I used all of my skill points, got into a fight and didn't have a bandage, and I couldn't unlock that blueprint, I would really struggle. So I always recommend having at least one skill point uh, saved in case you need it all right so this looks like the water it is uh, there's a wolf over there which is cool we'll go and kill that wolf you can survive under the water you actually can breathe underwater strange uh, strangely so if you are under the water you never ever have to worry about uh, you never have to worry about your oxygen levels underwater or anything like that it's just simply not a problem. I think there's another wolf here. Yep, there is. We'll kill him. Nice. Alright, so we just got an extra level there, which is good. We're going to get rid of some of the stuff we don't need. Uh, we don't need all of this. It's, a lot of this is rubbish. That's crazy. We don't need all of this. Uh, we'll consume that and that. We can get rid of this crap meat. We don't need it. We'll keep a lot of the other stuff. Uh, coffee beans we don't need. So we can make up some space here. Alright, so for talents, we're going to go for this uh, plus 10 now, plus 10 base movement speed. And uh, we're going to look at our solo points. We've got one available. We're going to go for this, which is another. So now we're 20% movement speed already. Uh, and in terms of these items, we've got 7 points available. So we'll go for this uh, soul toolkit because we might need that later. We're also going to unlock the medium wood crate. We don't need it now, but we might need it later. We're going to unlock the wood hammer. We will need that. And at the moment, that's all we really need. Uh, and the bone arrow. We're going to get a bone arrow as well. Um, but that's it. Now, we might also want to do the wood building set. The wood building set. And in terms of level 1 or tier 1, that is all we need. We don't need anything else on tier 1. We can leave it. There's nothing else we need. Now, I am going to go ahead and craft another torch. Because mine's uh, run out. And also, we're going to head down this way, so so we can see where we're going, and we'll start to run. So now we've used all of our blueprint points. We've kept one. Uh, we didn't need to, but we kept one. We also kept a skill point as well. We're running 20% faster than we was, which is fantastic, because we're going to get there in a fifth at a time. Uh, we're not really worried about fighting anything at the moment. We just kind of want to head down here and get this mission finished. Okay, so keeping an eye on our stamina. Also, our O2 level, which we can see is starting to drop. So if we get to a point... This is sulfur, by the way. If you open up your pick, it will tell you. Uh, we don't need it at the moment, but that's sulfur. Uh, this is sulfur as well. So you can normally see them around the edge of rocks. This one is actually called 
uh, silica. This is silica oil. You you use all of these later. Uh, the red is salt, and you'll see that as well at some point. The blue, as we know, is oxide. Uh, then you've got like a black one, which is iron. Other ores that you've got is gold, platinum, titanium, um, copper. There's lots and lots of different ores in this game, so yeah, we'll be able to have some fun crafting all of those later on. But the one that we want right now is this one here. So we're going to come down here and grab this and get us some of that oxygen. Again, not a waste of time because we are leveling up our XP by doing this. Because our stamina keeps running out, so, so one problem we keep experiencing at the moment is stamina running out all the time. So we can come across here and we can actually take uh, some points here. Just need to find out where it is. It's in survival, I believe. And here we go. So this will be our plus maximum stamina. So this will give us plus 40 maximum stamina now. So we'll take that. Alright, so maximum stamina and stamina regeneration. They're the two things we're going to want to keep hold of. Alright, there we go. So keep running. Coming down here. There's a wolf there. We'll have to... Yep, he's, uh, he's angry. Sounds like there's another one here. Oh, look, we've got three of them. So, Oh, and there, we, we broke our bone knife. See how important it is to have a second bone knife there? That's why. That's why we do it. Because if you get into a fight and you break your knife, you're going to wish you had one on you. So always have two, possibly three, depending on the mission. Now we're just going to grab these for the XP. And we need to make sure we heal ourselves. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves another bandage. Okay, and we're going to repair this tools. And we're going to head off this way. Perfect. Now, we don't have any food, so we're not healing at the moment. We could really do with cooking some food, and that will give us uh, the additional bo boost that we need. So, just based on the fact that it's dark out here at the moment, we're going to craft a new one because we left the other one behind. And that's fine because we get XP for crafting. So 128 experience there just for crafting that. Another wolf here. Could possibly be a wolf. I don't know what that is there. We're not too worried. Audio cues are important in this game. We will use them uh, a lot to be able to help survive. Alright, so we're going to come around to here. So we want to go this way. Following the edge of this mountain here. Okay, nothing to really worry about at the moment. Only bears, and I haven't seen any of those, so we're good. Alright, and we're around the edge here. We're going to come up to here. Uh, this is salt that I mentioned earlier. Alright, nice and easy. Nothing else we need to worry about at the moment. Just our stamina levels. Which we're going to let recover right now. Our food, oxygen, and water's getting low, but it's okay at the moment. Uh, later on, you'll be able to craft water bottles and things that you can take with you, so that will help. Alright, so, yep, we can see we're in a good place here. We're going to keep going this way. Keep running. Now, we're actually very close to another biome. You'll be able to see it on the map as we run around here. I'll show you in just a sec. We want to make sure we don't fall. We see there's a big drop here, so... This is where you've got to be careful at night, especially if you're running around. Make sure you don't hurt yourself. Oh, leave that rabbit. Okay, so, if we look on a map, you can see here, we're at the entrance to the snow biome. So if I was to actually head into there, it'd get very cold very quickly. Uh, and you can protect yourself with fires and things, and you know you can get better clothing that will protect you but if you spend too long in that environment without the right clothing you'll end up 
getting hypothermia. So you've got to bear in mind that every environment, every biome has different uh, different challenges. If you go to the desert, you're going to struggle with water. You're going to dehydrate very quickly. You're going to overheat. These are going to be the problems you're going to encounter in the desert. So they start you in a very safe biome with lots of animals, lots of resources. But as you start to expand out into other areas, resources will be harder to gather. Uh, enemies will get more difficult and harder to kill. Uh, the storms will get bigger and better. So whatever you're experiencing at the start of the game right here is just a very friendly way to introduce you to the game. It, it gets a lot harder. And also, if you find it too easy and you want a challenge, you could up the difficulty level. You'll get more rewards as a result. Uh, but you can also do that as well. Alright, so we're here now. This is where we need to be. Sorry it took so long. But we made it. Uh, we're just going to go. Let me just double check. Yeah, we're going to go up this way to the left here. And this will be our third and final location. So we can see it just in front of us here. Now the first Data one was bears. This is the area. Now it's up to you. First one was bears. The second one that we encountered. That's it. Systems online. The first was bears. The second was wolves. This is going to be boars. So this is going to be the boar. And the boss is going to be the jaguar. So the first one was baby bears with a big bear boss. Second one was wolves with an alpha wolf as a boss. This one's going to be boars with a jaguar as the boss. But we've got our knives. Uh, we're okay. We've got our health. We're okay. What we're actually going to do right now is we're going to put down right here a fire. And in that fire, we're going to chuck some wood and some meat. Here they come. Right. We're going to craft ourselves a bandage while we're waiting. So now we've got food on the go. Uh, we've got a bandage on the go. I've got some more food that we can put in here as well. But we can get rid of that crap food. Put a, put a decent food in there. So we've got all the decent food cooking. We've got a bandage. We've got our knives. This is doing its job. Yep. And we can just wait here and... Once these boars come up, they'll, they'll target that and then they'll target us. Oh, oh I killed him. Must have missed him. Uh, we can skin him as well while waiting. You'll hear them coming up. And also the music changes. So just listen out for the music. go two boars yep he's dead and there's the jaguar the jaguar seems a little bit stuck oh, there he is easy to kill very easy to kill all right okay. eat some meat and we've got one more to kill There we go. Job done. Pick this up. Well, you're done here. And that's it. We did a lot more than just survive. We did. Run for miles. We'll just do the skinning. We're already level seven. This is only our second mission, and we're already at level seven. So we're doing really, really well so far. Uh, we're just going to eat some more stringy meat. To be honest, we don't need to eat anything else. We can go. We'll skin the jaguar. That's us done. So the only thing left for us to do now is to actually head back to the dropship to take off. So in order to do this, uh, we can just set on the map. We need to come back this way. So we're going to run up here. Which means we're going to come around this. Uh, it's nearly 6 o'clock in the morning, so it's going to become daylight soon as well. Uh, we need some oxygen, so... We'll grab that from here.
Now, interestingly, with our talents, we've still only got our one point available, so we have to look at what we want to do. Cooking and farming is not really important for me at the moment. Uh, adventure kind of is. We've done this one. Uh, but if I'm looking at skills and what I want to do, none of these really bother me. Husbandry is not really something I want to do. Um, so I'm not worried about that. Habitation, not really something I'm interested in right now. But this does. This is my stamina regeneration. So repairing is good because this will give me 5% stamina regeneration. So I'm going to do this to get my stamina up. Um, no solo points to use at the moment. And the tech tree, there's just nothing left to do here. I don't need to worry. So um, I'm at level 7. I've unlocked everything I need to unlock. So we're, we're good to go. We're going to hold our points now until we get to level 10. And then we'll unlock uh, everything we need at level 10. Let me just go to my inventory. Use this. I'll use this. This and this. Can dump all the stuff I don't need. All of this meat and stuff. It's all weighing us down. We don't need any of this. We just need to get back. Alright, so we're going to run this way. And in doing so, we're actually going to pass uh, the water. Now, there's a wolf here, so we'll just get this wolf. I'm not even going to waste my time skinning him anymore. You can if you want, you can hunt, you can skin, you can do whatever you want, chop down trees, you can stay. You've got seven days. And this is real world time, so you've got seven days. There's a deer that's asleep here, so. Oh, I didn't quite get to kill him, but. Um, you've got seven days in this game, so you can, you can spend as long as you need here. You can do whatever you want to do. Oh, I got him. It is what it is. Okay, let's go. So the main focus now is just on exiting. I, I could... Uh, one thing I could do is actually kill myself. And if I was to kill myself, I would then respawn. So this is another option. I would respawn somewhere near the start. And because I can't take anything with me, there's no... There's nothing that's going to affect me. I've got nothing on me that I'm worried about. So uh, I could, if I wanted to, just jump off here. And I'm going to really, really hurt myself. Really hurt myself. Now, obviously, you don't have to do this. You know, you could run back and take that time and do that. But at this stage, so early in the game, I, I have no reason to be here. There's nothing I'm carrying from my loadout that's important to me. And there's actually nothing I need uh, to take back to the ship. So at this stage, I can quite happily... Uh, just get up here with my broken leg that I've now got, and I can. Oh, I can't even. I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't even do it because I've got a broken leg. So my broken bones are really gonna cause me problems here. I'm trying to do this. Oh, I'd have to find a wolf. Unfortunately, I'm not in a position to. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep looking, see if we can find something. We'll kind of head back in that direction anyway, because we need to head back that way. But if we see a wolf or anything like that, we'll let it kill us. I was kind of hoping the jump would have done it, but now all we've got is a broken leg instead. Uh, the debuff on this, by the way, as you can see here, minus 50% movement speed and minus 25 stamina regeneration. So these debuffs can really negatively affect you if you stack them up with a bleed and a break and a sprain and a storm. You find yourself almost unable to move. Alright, so here comes a storm. This is minor winds. Now, the problem with winds is they will knock trees down and we're in a forest. So we just need to bear that in mind. Is this high enough? Can I jump off of this? Oh, maybe I can. I might be alright. Let me see. Perfect. There we go. So now I need to wait 20 seconds to be able to respawn. So, this is actually what happens here. Now you're unconscious. You're not dead. So if you get attacked by an animal, or if you fall or hurt yourself, or the elements, or a storm, or anything gets you, first of all, you'll be unconscious. If you're playing with a teammate, they will revive you. 
or you can respawn, but it says with a penalty. Now that changed in an update yesterday, so you no longer get a penalty. If you're a solo player, there is no penalty. So if I respawn, I will not get a penalty. Now because I do not have a bed, it says, are you sure you want to respawn? Your gear will be left here with a map marker and you can come back and retrieve it. No bed found. Do you want to respawn at a random location? Well, a random location is always going to be near the start. And I don't have a bed. And I don't need any of the stuff that I've just gathered. And so the reason I do this is just to make it a little bit more efficient and to show you, obviously, the process of what happens when you die. Now here, look, I'm right here. So I died here, and here's my map marker. If I go back there, I can collect my belongings. But I'm going to land here, and I need to go to here. Now, I don't have anything on me anymore. My inventory is empty. Um, but I don't need anything on me. It's absolutely fine. I can simply just run this way. And I'm very, very close to being back at my ship. Because the mission's complete, we're done. So I wouldn't recommend this, as I said, if you're carrying items that you need to bring back with you. Loadout items or anything like that. I wouldn't do that. But in the second mission, it's not a problem at all. There we go. We can return to station. And the mission is complete. Thanks very much for watching us. We did manage to keep that to an hour. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.